Hello guys, this is the first problem of homework 5. The rigid beam is supported by a pin A and wires B, D and C. Letter A, if load P on the beam causes end C to be displaced 11 mm downward, determine the normal strain developed in wire C, E. So the first part we have saying that our load P displaces our end C 11 millimeters so we have here displacement C equals 11 millimeters so we know that the normal strain normal strain is the displacement over my original length so that first problem is straightforward so my normal strain developing the wire CE is my displacement that's 11 times 10 to the minus 3 millimeters over the original length 4 meters. So I have my end, my strain on C is 2.75 times 10 to the minus 3 meters over meters or if you prefer the strain is 2.75 millimeters over millimeters that is more common. Now, determine the normal strain developed in wire BC. So we have the same approach. So we know that our displacement in C is 11 millimeters. Now we want to find the displacement in B. So here, displacement in B. We know our dimension, so here is 4 and here is 4, 3 meters. And if you look, we have uh, two similar triangles. The first one is triangle ACC prime is similar to the triangle ABB prime. So knowing this, we have the displacement in B over 3 has to be the same as the displacement in C over 7. So I know that my displacement in the end B equals the displacement in C, that we know the value, over times 3 over 7. Now applying on my strain equation that I know this displacement in B over the original length, I know my normal strain is 3 times 11 over 7 divided by 4000 millimeters. So my normal strain doing the math is 1.179 millimeters over millimeters. If you want to use the three sig figures, we have to use 1.18 millimeters over millimeters. Here, just I remember how we do our fraction, 3 times 11 over 7 times 4,000 is where I found 1.179 millimeters over millimeters. So this is our first problem for week 5.